Hello everyone, my name is Simran and I am going to teach you mathematics. Students, in the last class we have started the chapter number 4 and we have already practiced the examples of exercise 4.1. So today students, in today's class we are going to discuss and practice the questions of exercise 4.1. So let's start with the first question. What is the first question of exercise 4.1? Students, the first question is complete the last column of the table. Alright students, this is the table in which the first column is serial number. Okay, like one first question, then second question, then third question. Next students, these are the equations given to us. Alright students, now the values. Okay, equations are given and in this column students, values are given to us. Alright, now students, in this column we have to complete the last column all right students and what is written in the last column say whether the equation is satisfied yes or no all right students so we have to complete that whether these equations are satisfied or not all right students how can we see this thing that this equation is satisfied students we know that this is the value given to us and students if I put the value in this equation okay if I put the value in this equation and if the left hand side and right hand side is the same then it means that the equation is satisfied and if students on putting the value in the equation the left hand side and the right hand side are not the same then it means that the equation is not satisfied alright students so this is the basic concept of whether you can say the equation is satisfied or not alright students so we'll be starting with the first question okay first question the equation is students x plus 3 is equals to 0 all right students this is the equation given to us right what is the left hand side of this equation it is x plus 3 right students this is our left hand side okay students the value given to us is x is equals to 3 okay value given is x is equals to 3 okay now students we need to put this x is equals to 3 in this we have to put 3 in place of x because x is equals to 3 and check whether the answer of this left hand side and the right hand side is same or not if the left hand side and right hand side are the same then it means that your equation is satisfied okay students now putting the value of x that is equals to 3 in this left hand side then it means 3 plus 3 okay students now students what is 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 is equals to 6 all right students and 6 is your left hand side now students what is right hand side right hand side is 0 what is right hand side right hand side is 0 so students left hand side is 6 and right hand side is 0 okay so from this students we can see that left hand side is not equal to that of right hand side okay clearly left hand side is 6 and right hand side is 0 so basically by this we can see that left hand side and right hand side are not the same and this is why we write it here no the equation is not satisfied All right, students so we have written no the equation is not satisfied by students because on putting the value in the equation the left hand side and the right hand side are not the same all right students so this is your first question now students looking at the next question next question students x plus 3 is equals to 0 and left hand side is x plus 3 all right students now students we have to put the value x is equals to 0 okay so putting the value x is equals to 0 here 0 plus 3 is equals to students 3 left hand side is equals to 3 and right hand side is 0 so students left hand side is 3 and right hand side is 0 it means that the left hand side and the right hand side are not the same okay so left hand side is not equal to that of, that of right hand side right students so clearly LHS and RHS are unequal so it means that the equation is not satisfied okay students so the answer is no 
the equation is not satisfied this is your second part students now looking at the third part students looking at the third part what will be getting third part students it is x plus 3 is equals to 0 left hand side is equals to x plus 3 and now students we have to put the value x is equals to minus 3 okay students so putting the value x is equals to minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 now students minus 3 and plus 3 is equals to 0 okay students when we are adding minus 3 and plus 3 together then the answer is 0 so answer is students 0 this is our left hand side and right hand side is equals to 0 so clearly students left hand side is 0 and your right hand side is also 0 so it means that LHS is equals to RHS now students on putting the value in the equation left hand side and right hand side are the same right so it means that this equation is satisfied all right students so yes the equation is satisfied this is your third part students now students will be discussing your fourth part okay fourth part students that is x minus 7 is equals to 1 okay students now students x minus 7 is equals to your left hand side we have to put the value x is equals to 7 in the left hand side x is equals to 7 7 minus 7 is equals to students when we are subtracting 7 from 7 then the answer is 0 so left hand side is equals to 0 but what is your right hand side right hand side is 1 okay students if left hand side is 0 and right hand side is 1 then it means that your left hand side and right hand side are not the same all right students so your left hand side and right hand side are not the same all right students so it means that equation is not satisfied all right students so here we can write no the equation is not satisfied all right students very simple very easy what you need to do you have to practice okay students looking at the another part that is part 5 okay students in the part 5 x minus 7 is equals to 1 and the value in LHS is equals to x minus 7 value is 8 8 minus 7 is equals to 8 minus 7 is equals to students 1 okay so LHS is equals to 1 by solving 8 minus 7 that is equals to 1 what is your right hand side right hand side is also 1 so clearly students right hand side and the left hand side is the same so it means that the equation is satisfied okay students so clearly LHS is equals to RHS and yes the equation is satisfied equation is satisfied all right students now we'll be discussing the sixth part okay students in sixth part students 5x is equals to 25 okay students and what is your left hand side left hand side is 5x all right students that means 5 multiplied by x all right students now what is the x value given to us that is x is equals to 0 okay students when i put x is equals to 0 anything that is multiplied with 0 has the answer 0 okay students so 5 into 0 is equals to 0 okay students it is 0 clearly students your left hand side is 0 and what is your right hand side this is 25 right so RHS is equals to students 25 which means that your left hand side and your right hand side is not the same 
is unequal right students so it means that your equation is not satisfied all right students so we'll write no the equation is not satisfied is not satisfied all right students so this was your sixth part now we'll be solving the seventh part okay students what is the seventh part students this is 5x is equals to 25 left hand side is students 5x 5x is equals to 5 into x okay students what is x now x is equals to 5 okay so 5 into 5 what is 5 into 5 students 5 multiplied by 5 is equals to 25 okay so your left hand side is equals to 25 which is equal to your right hand side that is also equal to 25 okay students so your right hand side is also equal to 25 it means that your left hand side and your right hand side is the same that is left hand side is equals to the right hand side all right students it means that this equation is satisfied okay students so yes the equation is is satisfied okay students so now we'll be solving the eighth part all right students eighth part the equation is 5x is equals to 25 okay students right students and the left hand side is equals to 5x what is 5x students 5 into x now students the value of x given to us is equals to x is equals to minus 5 okay students so 5 into minus 5 is equals to minus 25 because we know that anything that is negative integer is multiplied with the positive integer we get result in the negative integer all right students so 5 into 5 is 25 and a negative integer when multiplied with positive integer will give you negative integer all right students so this is minus 5 25 and this is 25 so your right hand side is equals to 25 students and it says that left hand side is not equal to that of right hand side why students because right hand side is 25 and left hand side is equals to minus 25 all right students so it means that the equation is not satisfied okay students so we have to write no the equation is not satisfied okay students okay so this is your eighth part now students looking at the another question that is question part nine all right students ninth part which is saying m upon three is equals to two the left hand side is students m upon three right so what is the value of m given to us m is equals to minus six all right students when i'm putting the value of m is equals to minus six upon three 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2 students so answer is minus 2 okay minus 2 minus 2 is the left hand side students and what is the right hand side right hand side is equals to students this 2 okay left hand side is equals to minus 2 and right hand side is equals to 2 all right students minus 2 and 2 so it clearly it clearly says that left hand side is not equal to that of right hand side okay students so LHS is not equal to the RHS and what it mean that no the equation is not satisfied is not satisfied all right students now students will be looking at the question part 10 all right students so what is the part 10 saying it is saying that m upon 3 is equals to 2 where our left hand side is equals to m upon 3 right students m upon 3 what is the value given to us that is m is equals to 0 so 0 divided by 3 is equals to 0 because anything is divided with 0 it means that the answer is 0 okay 
So left hand side is zero students and right hand side is equals to two. So it means that right hand side is two and left hand side is zero. It means left hand side and right hand side are not the same. All right, students. So it means that LHS is not equal to RHS. All right, students. So it means that your equation is not satisfied. All right, students. So answer is no. The equation. is not satisfied all right students now we'll be looking at the next question that is question number 11 all right students so question number 11 is students m upon 3 question number 11 students m upon 3 is equals to 2 and our left hand side is students m upon 3 right the value of m given to us is m is equals to 6. So, we have to put the value of m is equals to 6 into this equation. Okay. So, 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2. It is clear that 6 when divided by 3 is equals to 2 because 3 into 2 is equals to 6. All right, students. So, it means that 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2. This is our left hand side and what is our right hand side? This is this 2. Okay. Right hand side is also 2, left hand side is 2 and right hand side is 2. This means that our left hand side is equal to that of the right hand side. Alright students, so it means that yes the equation is satisfied. Alright students, yes the equation is satisfied. Alright students, so this is your first question okay students so students this is our first question now we'll be practicing the next question that is question number two what is the question number two students check whether the value given in the brackets is the solution to the given equation or not all right students the question is we are given a value in bracket and we have to check whether this value is the solution of this equation or not how can we check this thing students by putting this value in the equation students if this value is satisfying the equation okay that we did in the last question that is the left hand side and the right hand side is the same then it means that it the, the then this value is the solution of this equation all right students how can we check i repeat when you will put this value in the equation and if this value will satisfy the equation that means that if the light right hand side and the left hand side of the equation is equal to each other then it means that this value is the solution of this equation all right students will learn this thing and practice this thing by doing the question okay students n is equals to five n plus five is equals to 19 all right students n plus five is equals to 19 okay a part n plus 5 is equals to 19 students now students firstly i'll consider the left hand side that is n plus 5 all right students n plus 5 now i have to check the solution of the equation for the value n is equals to 1 okay students now i'll put the value n is equals to 1 in this equation okay students n is equals to 1 and 1 plus 5 okay so it means 1 plus 5 is equals to 6 so left hand side is equals to 6 and what is your right hand side? Right hand side is students it is 19. So students clearly left hand side is not equal to that of right hand side. Okay. So it means that this n is equals to 1 is not the solution of equation n plus 5 is equals to 19. Alright students. So it means that n is equals to 1 is not satisfying the equation is not satisfying the equation so n is equals to 1 is not the solution of given equation all right students clearly left hand side and right hand side is not the same so because of this thing n is equals to 1 is not at all satisfying the equation and this is why n is equals to 1 is not the solution of the given equation. Alright students so this is our first part. In the similar way students will be solving the next part. 
What is the next part, students? Have a look at the next part. What is it saying? Have a look. Second part is seven and plus five is equals to nineteen. All right, students. And what is this left hand side? Seven n plus five. All right, students. And we have to check the value for n is equals to minus two. Okay, students. N is equals to minus two. So we have to put the value of n is equals to minus two in this equation, right? The left hand side of this equation. Seven into minus two plus five. All right, students. Seven into minus two is equals to students. Seven into two is equals to fourteen. And when a negative integer and a positive integer is multiplied. The result will be negative. Okay, students. So it is minus fourteen plus five. All right, students. Fourteen minus fourteen plus five is equals to students minus nine. All right, students. Okay, minus nine. So clearly, students, left hand side is minus nine, and what is the right hand side? Right hand side is equals to nineteen. Clearly, students. Left hand side is minus nine and right hand side is nineteen. So it is clear that the left hand side is not equal to that of the right hand side. Okay, students, these two are different. Okay, so that is why n is equals to minus two is not satisfying the equation, and that is why n is equals to minus two is not the solution of the given equation. All right, students, we'll write this thing that n is equals to minus two is Not the solution of equation as it is not as it is not satisfying the equation. All right, students, as it is not satisfying the equation. All right, students. So, students, these are the first two questions of. Second part. All right, students. Now we'll be looking at the third part of this question. That is, seven n plus five is equals to nineteen, and we have to check the satisfaction for the value n is equals to two. All right, students. So C part. Seven as n plus five is equals to nineteen. Students, left hand side is equals to students. What is the left hand side? Seven n plus five. Okay, students. Clearly, we are given the value. n is equals to two, and we have to check the solution for this value. All right, students. Seven into two plus five. Seven into two is equals to students fourteen, and fourteen plus five is equals to nineteen. All right, students. This is nineteen. Left hand side is nineteen students, and what is the right hand side? Right hand side is also nineteen students. So clearly, left hand side is equals to that of right hand side. So it means, students, that n is equals to two is the solution of the given equation. As it is satisfying the equation, satisfying the equation. All right, students. You can have a look. N is equals to two is the solution of the given equation as it is satisfying the given equation. All right, students. Now we'll be discussing for part D. That is four p minus three is equals to thirteen, and we have to check the solution for the value p is equals to one. All right, students. So we'll be solving the D part. D part. 4p minus 3 is equals to 13, and what is the left hand side, students? 4p minus 3. Okay, and we have to check for the value p is equals to 1. Putting the value p is equals to 1. 4 into 1 is equals to students 4. 4 minus 3 is equals to students 1. 4 into 1 is equals to 4. 4 minus 3 is equals to 1, students. Now, students, left hand side is 1. And right hand side is thirteen. Okay, students. Left hand side is one, and right hand side is thirteen. It means that the left hand side and the right hand side are not the same, students. So left hand side is not equal to that of right hand side. All right, students. So students, because of this thing, p is equals to one is not the solution 
of the given equation. As it is not satisfying the equation. All right, students. So because left hand side and right hand side are not the same, so that is why p is equals to one is not the solution of the equation as it is not satisfying the equation. All right, students. Now students will be looking at the next part. Four p minus three is equals to thirteen, students. Okay, so. 4p minus 3 is equals to 13, where our left hand side is equals to 4p minus 3. We have to check for the value p is equals to minus 4 students. 4 into minus 4. Okay, students, minus 3. 4 into minus 4 is equals to minus 16. Minus 16 minus 3 is equals to minus 19 students. This is 13. Right hand side is students 13 and left hand side is equals to minus 19 students. So LHS is not equal to RHS. So it means that P is equals to minus 4 is not the solution of the given equation. Alright students, so this is the solution of part E. Alright students, now we will be discussing for the part F, okay? What is part F students? It is 4P minus 3 is equals to 13. Left hand side is equals to 4P minus 3. Alright students, and we have to check the value of P is equals to 0. Okay, P is equals to 0 minus 3. 4 into 0 is equals to students. Tell me what is 4 into 0? It is 0. 0 minus 3 is equals to minus 3 students. So left hand side is equals to students minus 3 and right hand side is equals to 13 students. Okay. So it means that our left hand side is not equal to that of right hand side. Clearly you can have a look. LHS is minus 3 and RHS is 13. So clearly students left hand side and the right hand side are not the same. So this is why students P is equals to 0 is not the solution of not the solution of the given equation. All right students. Now students solving the another question that is question 3. Solve the following equations by trial and error method. All right, students. Now we have to solve this equation, okay, by trial and error method. It is very clear from the name of the method that is trial and error. Try and error. Try it. If there is some error, then again try it. Then if, if there is some error, then again try it, okay. So trial and error method, okay. So students, in this trial and error method, what we do? We just assume any value and put it in this equation. If the equation is satisfied, then that is the solution, okay? And if the equation is not satisfied, then we have to try a next value, okay? Try and assume the another value. If it is not satisfied again, we will just try another value. If it is not satisfied, then we'll try another value, all right, students? So that is why this method is called trial and error method, all right, students? For example, students, 5 plea. 5p plus 2 is equals to 17. All right, students. Firstly, we'll do the solution for p is equals to 0. Okay. For p is equals to 0, students will check whether p is equals to 0 satisfy the equation or not. If students p is equals to 0 satisfy the equation, then it means that it is the solution. All right, students. And if it doesn't solve, okay, if it doesn't satisfy, then it means that we have to try or assume any another value. All right, students. So p is equals to 0, 5 into 0 plus 2, 5 into 0 is equals to 0, 0 plus 2 is equals to 2. Alright students, so 2 is your left hand side, right hand side is 17. Clearly students, LHS and RHS are not equal. So this p is equals to 0 is not the solution, okay. So it means that P is equals to 0 is not the solution. Alright students, 
Now we'll assume a and another value. Okay. Let us assume p is equals to one. Okay, students. P is equals to one. We'll assume five into one plus two. Five into one is equals to five. Five plus two is equals to students. Seven. Seven is the left hand side. Thirty. Seventeen is the right hand side. So clearly, students, left hand side is not equal to that of RHS. Okay, because left hand side is seven and seventeen is the right hand side. So LHS and RHS are not equal. So it means that p is equals to one is not the solution. Now, students, we'll assume in another value. Okay, if these are not the solution. Then let us suppose p is equals to two. Okay, five p plus two. Okay, it means five into two plus two, ten plus two. That is twelve. Okay. Now students, LHS is twelve, and RHS is students the seventeen. Clearly, LHS and RHS are not the same. So it means. P is equals to two is not the solution. Clearly, students, you can have a look. If I'm considering p is equals to two, I have put the value of p is equals to two here. Five into two is equals to ten. Ten plus two. Ten plus two is equals to twelve. This is our left hand side, and what is the right hand side? This is seventeen. Seventeen is not equal to that of twelve. So it means that. It is not the solution that p is equals to two is not the solution. Now we have to assume an another value. Let us assume p is equals to three. Okay, students. I am raising this. Now I'll consider p is equals to three. Okay, students. So five p plus two is equals to seventeen. Five into three plus two. Five into three is fifteen. Fifteen plus two is equals to seventeen. Seventeen is the left hand side, and what is the right hand side? Right hand side is also seventeen. So clearly, students, left hand side and right hand side is the same. Okay, so p is equals to three is the solution. All right, students, it is the solution of the given equation. Okay, students, it is the solution of the given equation. All right, students, in this way we can easily solve the question. The next question, students, three m minus fourteen is equals to four. All right, students. Now we have to assume, and if it is wrong, then we have to reassume. All right, students. This is why it is called trial and error method. Okay, students. So, students, have a look. The subtraction of these two should be four. So, four is RHS. So, whatever be the answer of left hand side, if it is equals to four for any value of m, that will be our solution. Okay, students. For example, if I'm considering m is equals to four, okay, then students, three into four minus fourteen, students, three into four is equals to twelve. Twelve minus fourteen is equals to twelve minus fourteen is equals to minus two. Okay, students, it is minus two. Okay, this is the left hand side. Clearly, students, RHS is four and LHS is minus two, so it means that. Left hand side and right hand side are not the same, so five is equals to m is equals to four is not the solution. All right, students. Now we'll assume any another value. Okay. For example, if I'm considering m is equals to five. Okay. Three into five minus fourteen. Okay, students. Three into five is equals to fifteen. Fifteen minus fourteen is equals to one. Okay. One is my left hand side. What is the right hand side, students? It is four. Right hand side and left hand side is not equal to each other, so it means LHS is not equal to that of RHS. So M is equals to five is not the solution. Okay, students. M is equals to five is not the solution. So that means that we have to try for any another value. Okay. I have considered m is equals to four. I have considered m is equals to five. Now I am considering m is equals to six. All right, students. For m is equals to six, LHS is three m minus fourteen. 
3 into 6 minus 14. 3 into 6 is equals to students 18. 18 minus 14 is equals to 4. 4 is the left hand side. 4 is the right hand side students. So it means that LHS is equals to RHS and M is equals to 6 is the solution of given equation. So students M is equals to 6, the left hand side is 4, right hand side is also 4, so it means the left hand side and right hand side are equal and M is equals to 6 is the solution of the given equation. Okay students, now we'll be solving any another question that is question number 4. Write equations for the following statements. Okay students, we are given some statements and we have to write the equations for that. Okay students, the statement is the sum of the numbers x and 4 is 9. What it is all about students? We have to consider the sum. The sum of two numbers, okay? 1 and 2 which is equal to 9. Alright students? So, sum of numbers which number x and 4, okay students? So, the sum of the number x and 4 is equal to 9. So, the equation is students x plus 4 is equals to 9 this is the equation so simple question students what you need to do you need to practice okay students the next statement 2 subtracted from y is 8 what is the question students subtraction is there from y okay from y when you are subtracting 2 you will get 8 okay 2 subtracted from y is 8. So, this is the equation. Students, we have already done such type of questions in the examples, okay? That is in your last class. Alright, students? Now, students, the next question is 10 times a is 70. Alright, students? 10 times a is equal to 10 into a that is 10a all right students so 10a is equals to student 70 this is your equation how simple is that okay 10 times a is equals to 70 all right students looking at the another statement the number b divided by 5 gives 6 it gives what it will give 6 okay the number b number is b and it is divided by 5 divided by 5 so, any number divided by 5 will give 6. Alright, students. So, the equation is 5 upon b upon 5 is equals to 6. This is the equation. Alright, students. Looking at the another question, 3 fourth of t is 15. How simple. Students, 3 fourth, 3 fourth of t, students, it is 3 upon 4 of t. Alright, so 3 upon 4 of t is 15. This is the equation. Okay, students, it is a very simple exercise, students. You just practice at your home. These questions are very important for the exam point of view. So, you must practice these questions at your home. Okay, students, the next statement, students, 7 times m plus 7 gets you 77 okay students firstly 7 times m what is it 7 times m is equals to 7 into m that is 7m okay 7 times m is equals to 7 into m that is 7m 7m plus 7 gives you get you 77 okay this is your equation okay students looking at the another question one fourth of a number x minus 4 gives 4. Okay, students. One fourth of a number x. One fourth of a number x is equals to students. 1 into 4 into x. That is equals to 1 upon 4x. Okay. X upon 4 minus 4 is 4. All right, students. This is your equation, okay? Because it is given to us, then one fourth of a number, one fourth of a number x minus four gives 
4. All right, students, this is the equation. Now, students, the next statement. If you take away 6 from 6 times y, you get 60. What is that, students? If you take away 6 from 6 times y, 6 times y, students, 6 times y is equals to 6 into y, that means 6y. 6y and when you take away from 6 times y, 6 from 6 times y, you get 60. This is the equation. How simple is that? Now, students, another statement. If you add 3 to 1 third of z, you get 30. Alright, students. You are adding 3 to what? 3, 1 third of z. It will get you 30. 1 third of z plus 3 is equals to 30 students. Okay. If you add 3 to 1 third of z, you get 30. 1 third of z students, 1 third of z is equals to 1 upon third of z. 1 upon third of means multiplication. 1 upon 3z, it is z upon 3. Okay, students. 1 upon 3z plus 3 is equals to 30 students. Alright, students. Okay, students. Now, students, another question. Write the following equation in the statement form. Alright, students, you are given the equations and now you have to write the equations in the statement forms. Alright, students. What is it? P plus 4 is equals to 15. What is that? A number P when added to 4 gets 15. This is the statement form. Alright students, a number P when added to 4 gets 15. How simple. Next question students. M minus 7 is equals to 3. What is the statement? 7 when subtracted from subtracted from a number m gives 3. Alright students, 7 when subtracted from a number m will give you 3. Okay students, the next question, 2m is equals to 7, twice a number m will give you 7. Twice the number m will give you 7. Okay, students. Now, students, the another question. m upon 5 is equals to 3. 1 fifth. 1 fifth of a number m gives 3. Clearly, students, m upon 5, it means 1 fifth of a number m is 3. Okay, students. Now, 3m upon 5 is equals to 6. Okay, students. The answer is thrice a number, thrice a number m when divided by, thrice a number m when divided by 5 gives 6. Alright, students. Thrice a number when divided by 5 will give 6. Alright, students. Now, students, another thing. 3p plus 4 is equals to 25. So, it means thrice a number p plus 4 gives 25. Alright, so, all right, students. Now, students, another question. 4p minus 2 is equals to 18. What is it? 4 times a number p minus 2 gives you gets 18. Okay? 4 times a number p when subtracted from 2 will give you 18. Okay? You can also write 4 times a number p Minus 2 will give you 18. Okay, students. Now, P, plus, P upon 2 plus 2 is equals to 8. What is this? Half a number P 
एडेड टू टू इज एट ओके स्टूडेंट्स हाफ अ नंबर हाफ अ नंबर पी वेन एडेड टू टू इज एट ऑल राइट स्टूडेंट्स वेरी इजी एंड वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स विल बी प्रैक्टिसिंग इन अदर क्वेश्चन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स सिक्स क्वेश्चन राइट द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन इन स्टेटमेंट फॉर्म्स राइट स्टूडेंट्स these are the equations given to us and we have to write them into the statement form all right students first irfan says that he has seven marbles more than five times the marble parmeet has all right students irfan is saying that irfan is saying that he has seven marbles more than five times the marble that parmeet has all right students If Irfan has thirty-seven marbles, take m to be the number of marbles that Pomit has. All right, students. For example, we are given this condition that take m to be the number of marbles that Pomit has. All right, students. This is the assumption. All right, and this is what said to us. Okay, Irfan has. How many marbles? Thirty-seven marbles. All right, students. And what is the condition given to us? M let M is equals to Parmeet's marble. All right, students. Parmeet's marbles. All right, students. Now, what is the condition that is given to us? We have given the condition that if Fan has marbles, that is thirty-seven. If Fan's marble is equals to seven marbles more than that of five times the marble Parmeet has. All right, students. So condition is that Parmeet, uh, if Fan has marbles, if Fan has marbles, that is equal to seven marbles more than that of five times the marble that. Parmeet has it has m marbles. Okay, so seven plus five m. In the statement form, these are the marbles of Irfan, and we are also given this thing that Irfan has thirty-seven marbles. So according to this condition one and this condition two, we can say that seven five m plus seven is equals to thirty-seven. All right, students. This is our statement form of the following equation. All right, students. Irfan's marble that is thirty-seven. It is equals to five times the marble that Parmeet has plus seven more than that. All right, students. This is a very simple question. What we need to do? We have to practice. All right, students. Looking at the another question, that is question number two. Lakshmi's father is forty-nine years old. Okay, students. He is. Four years older than three times Lakshmi's age. All right, students. What is given to us? Lakshmi's father's age. Okay, and the condition that his father is four years older than three times of Lakshmi's age. All right, students. And take Lakshmi's age to be y years. Okay, students. Let age of Lakshmi is equals to y. Years, all right, students. Okay, and we know that the father of Lakshmi Sage is father of Lakshmi Sage is forty-nine years old. All right, students. Now the condition given to us is that he's his father is. Four years older than three times the age of Lakshmi. Three times. What is the age of Lakshmi? Why? We have assumed it. Why? So it is equals to four plus three. Why? All right, students. This is Lakshmi's father's age. Right, students. This is Lakshmi's father age. Now this is Lakshmi's father age, and this is also Lakshmi's father age. Okay, students. Then it means that we can equate these two. Four plus three y is equals to forty-nine. All right, students. This is the required equation. All right, students. It is saying that Lakshmi's father is forty-nine years, and 
the relation between the Lakshmi and Lakshmi's father is Lakshmi's father is four years more than three times the age of Lakshmi all right students it is given to us so this is the required result okay looking at the another question the teachers tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is twice the lowest marks plus seven all right students teacher is saying to the whole class that whatever be the highest marks of your class is equal to twice the lowest marks plus seven okay twice the lowest marks plus seven now students she also knows and said the highest score is 87 okay then let the lowest score to be this okay so firstly students let the lowest score be all right students now we know that the highest score is highest score is 87 right students and according to condition okay students according to the question highest score is also equal to what is it equal to okay lowest scores twice twice the lowest score what is the lowest score this one okay so twice of this okay and plus 7 okay students so 2 plus 7 this is the highest score and this is also the highest score so equating these two is equals to 87 so students this is the required result very simple questions what you need to do you have to just practice all right students looking at another question that is question number four in an isosceles triangle the vertex angle is twice either base angle all right students let the base angle be b in degrees remember that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees all right students it is given to us that this is a isosceles triangle students in the isosceles triangle the vertex angle is this okay this is the vertex angle in any kind of triangle the sum of all the angles is equal to 180 degree all right students vertex angle it is given to us that vertex angle is twice that of any of the base angle these are the base angles all right students in isosceles triangle students two angles are equal all right students so if this is if this is b okay students if one is b then another is also b it means the vertex angle is twice that of base angle so it is 2b all right students in an isosceles triangle students two angles are equal out of the three angles okay and the sum of the all three angles of a triangle is equals to 180 degree we know according to this question that the vertex angle is twice the base angle okay students if any of the base angle is b then the another base angle is also b because it is an isosceles triangle right and if the base angles are b what is the condition given to us we are given that the vertex angle is twice either base angle so it means that it is 2b all right students now students the equation is that vertex angle is equals to twice base angle right students let the base angle angle let the base angle be okay students then the vertex angle is 2b okay students now we know that in the triangle you have to write this line the sum of the angles of the triangle the angles of the triangle is 180 degrees all right students in the triangle the sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 degree all right students then what will happen students sum of all the angles
angles okay what is it to be the vertex angle plus the base angle plus the base angle is equals to 180 degree all right students to be is the vertex angle base angle first base angle two okay second base angle so 2b plus 1b plus 1b is equals to 4b students 4b is equals to 180 degree this is our equation all right students this is our equation so students this was all about the exercise number 4.1 so in the next class we'll be discussing your exercise number 4.2 all right students so students do practice hard at your home we'll be meeting in your next class have a nice day all of you bye bye